Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. It's time to update the firmware on my 2017 Zero FXS electric motorcycle. In this video, I'll show you how the Zero over the air firmware updates work. I'll tell you why Zero emailed me with an important information on this particular update. And I'll share important long term winter storage tips for Zero motorcycles. All right, let's jump into the update. All right, guys, I've got my app here connected to my 2017 Zero FXS. 69% stated charge. Uh, going to push a firmware update. I connected to the app. It says there's a new firmware update available for your motorcycle. Let's go ahead and hit update. The app is checking here for firmware updates. All right, the current firmware on my bike is main bike board version 26 and battery management system version 34 we're going to be putting on main bike board version 31 and battery management system version 38 so a couple of jumps here from the last firmware update i've pushed to the bike the reason why i'm pushing this update is because i received the following email from zero with a concern for a problem with the hibernation of the battery management system here are some more details Zero Motorcycles has determined that the battery management system may not hibernate when they are stored at states of charge less than 30%. Because the BMS does not hibernate, the power pack's state of charge may drop more rapidly than desired and may reach an irrecoverable lo level within a 30-day period. The long-term storage mode firmware issue has been corrected in version 30 of the main brain board firmware and version 37 of the battery management system firmware for these motorcycles. Furthermore, the email includes some information on recommendations for charging zero motorcycles. For long-term storage of more than 30 days, like during the winter time in the northern half of the U.S., Zero recommends draining the power pack to a 60% state of charge and leaving the motorcycle unplugged. Check the state of charge at least monthly and charge it back up to 60% if it has dropped below 30%. When you're ready to take your motorcycle out of storage, to write it again, plug it in for at least 24 hours to ensure optimal cell balance is restored. And they pass along a warning that you should never store your motorcycle at a state of charge less than 30% because leaving your power pack discharged below this level for a prolonged period could damage the power pack and void the warranty. My current bike board is version 26 and the features with that version included state of charge improvements for model year 15 power packs that have model year 17 BMSs, improvements to charging when power pack temperatures reach 50 degrees Celsius, improvements to management of six kilowatt charging near freezing temperatures from minus two to two Celsius, enables long-term storage mode, improvement to BMS hibernation functionality and six kilowatt charge tank performance improvements. I'm updating from version 26 of the main bike board to 31 of the main bike board. So the missed versions is version 27, which uh, improved power tank firmware. I missed version 29 that supported model year 20 zero DSR Black Forest and charge tank improvements and bug fixes, neither of which I have. And here is version 30 where zero provided the bug fixes to improve the storage longevity in select conditions. I currently have version 34 of the BMS and upgrading to version 38. The improvements for the BMS version 34 are the same as the improvements for the main bike board version 26. I missed BMS version 35, which provided power tank firmware improvements, but I don't have a power tank, so not a big deal. And in BMS version 37, that's where Zero provided the bug fixes to improve the storage longevity in select conditions. Okay, let's get back to the firmware update. Let's check prerequisites. You need a phone state of charge greater than 40%. I've got 74. Motorcycle state of charge greater than 20. I've got 69. It says charger attached. We cannot have the charger attached. And then motorcycle armed. We're not armed. Let me disconnect the charger. All right, charger is disconnected. Let's go ahead and start this firmware update. Cross our fingers. Hopefully, we don't get stuck in the middle of it. And. It's 11.38 a.m. now, let's hit go. So you can see that the dash changes to this blinking number here. Warning, this part of the update process could take up to 30 minutes. 
So we'll give it to uh, 1208. But it says updating motorcycle battery management system version 38 and main bike board version 31. This is good to see. We can see that the progress bar is moving for the version 38 battery management system. Moving rather quickly. All right, good news. Looks like version 38 of the BMS is finished or almost finished. And now we're working on main bike board version 31. We'll let that go for a bit. All right, we're seven minutes in here and we're almost complete with version 31 main bike board. All right, looks like we're at the end here. Let's see what the next step's going to be. Less than 10 minutes to get both of these downloaded. Oh, all right, we've got the screen has returned to normal. That's a good thing. Pretty neat, these over the air updates. I have them on my Tesla Model 3, but also super cool to have it on my Zero. All right, it's been a full 30 minutes. It's 12.09, and I haven't seen any change other than when we complete, when we saw the status bar finish for version 38 of the BMS and version 31 of the main bike boards. I'm going to assume that, it's, that the firmware update is complete. Okay, so I closed the app and reopened it. Let's see if we're able to fully download the update. Uh, I can check the current version by going to firmware update. And okay, good. So it was complete and it actually finished in less than 15 minutes. Would have been great if Zero would have given me some kind of pop up that said the firmware update is complete, but it didn't do that. Now we're up on a main bike board version 31 and battery management system version 38. So very cool. Just an example of a firmware update on a 2017 Zero FXS and all the Zeros uh, can be updated via these over the air firmware updates. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy a new Tesla and you will get 1,000 free supercharging miles. Or if you use my referral code to buy a Tesla solar roof or solar panels, You'll get a $100 reward after system activation.